Man up boys, it's your boy Fabricio from Man Up Coaching. I'm here with Martin Messe, the spiritual gangster. Martin, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Martin Messe. <laughs> I am a uh, holistic health events organizer and overall kind human being to others. Yeah, and today the main topic, we want to talk about character over game and why it's so important for you to develop your character as a as a as a man as a human being as an individual so i think it's very important to be aware of that because i see a lot of guys when they enter in the game they ended up in a let's say in a lost mindset where they do not know what they want to achieve so the first thing they want actually want to achieve as a human beings as a man is like what pussy so i really see this happening a lot in the way that like the guys they do not learn how to develop their um their values right and then they enter in a position where they just feel lost they, they do not know how to how to find next step right because they just don't they feel empty somehow in a certain way so what's your thoughts about that yeah i think it's a very it's a very common thing that happens in our generation especially young men feel lost and they don't really have we don't learn how to develop a healthy relationship with ourselves in school we don't re develop a, a value system for ourselves or a structure that we're building our life onto so what happens is that we have this idea about sexual relationships with women be uh, a reward or some kind of uh, game right we do call it game which is really funny when you think about it because in reality having an intimate relationship between two individuals a male and a female or whatever it may be right yeah. it's the most natural thing interplanetary in the relationship. interplanetary relationship your alien girlfriend hey i like purple skin i'm with that i'm with the <laughs> avatar shit you know no but really when you think about it bees healthy bees pollinate healthy flowers you know the reproduction happens that's just how it goes and a healthy male individual has it's not that he needs to have a reason to have an attractive stimulating fun woman in his life is just that why wouldn't you if you have the right character that moves you forward in life it is the most basic thing that these women will come to you and if you are still in the mindset that you need to go through certain methods or certain techniques to get to that point i'm here to tell you right now that yes i guess it's a part of the journey to try those things but it is not what's going to get you to that place that a lot of people in the pickup community refer to as abundance where you really don't really you don't have to think about oh I need to go out like three times a week to always have girls in my phone that I can text like no that just simply does not happen there's a method to that or there's a way to that when you're simply maintaining your wholeness as an individual as a human being it takes a lot more effort because it's a way it's not a method but it is what gets you that result that you desire which is fulfillment and intimate relationships with other people yeah and i think like uh a lot of people talk about what is actually game what game means and people right. think that like game is just a bunch of techniques and i really do not believe on that of course you need to have the basics you need to for example learn how to develop your voice so like when people are aware right. of you you True. can like communicate with your human beings because right. people are like what what are you yeah. saying there's very important and the second thing is like you very important for you learn how to achieve this mindset that like you shouldn't be caring about what actually people think about you. So when you actually approach someone, you do not enter this mentality about, oh, you, you find, you're entering this mentality of resistance. You're already entering a mentality of acceptance. Because yeah. you say, I know what is going on. This is also very important. Yeah. But I think I see a lot of guys, they become a little bit empty because they cannot even enjoy it. You know, like I see like a lot of like guys in the, uh, mainly in beginners and a little bit in intermediate and they're gonna go to a club let's say they're both like newbies and we go to the club and like I push the girl say oh but why you didn't do this and this and that and then like they keep like creating a lot of information and like putting a lot of logic where they on the end they just can't st start getting like thinking so many bush so much bullshit right. that yeah. they do not even act and like looks like a video game so oh, why didn't I like do like square square triangle x <laughs> xyz you know and R2 we blocking like they don't even enter that present that present say oh, okay I'm in a nightclub right now I gonna disable my thinking mind alert gotta of yeah. course if I do something wrong I gotta be like wait I'm doing something wrong yeah. but you're not gonna be like just discussing your argument and entering this fulfilling on this 
dark void of thoughts or you do not do anything about yeah. it. You know, you just like right. say like, ah. Oh. Yeah. And, and you can just say that's that's getting into your head, right? Yeah. It's kind yeah. of like, it's like head oh, versus body. I'm in my head, right? The I'm in my head, in my right? Head. You're either, you can be up here in your head and there's that hamster wheel just spinning and you're thinking so much, or you can take a deep breath and this is where mindfulness and presence comes in uh, that we actually already have a video on together. The truth is that if you just take a step back, let's say, let's take that scenario, yeah, that okay. example, nightclub. I'm not too big on night game, but I do see the appeal in it. You go out and really there's no mental gymnastics there, man. Guys dress up, make themselves look their best and go out to find women. And women dress up, make themselves look their best to go out and find guys. That is literally what clubbing and partying is. And like listen like to weird beats, weird sounds. Like and listen, weird frequency. <laughs> and listen exactly. some frequency, shake your body. That's bodies. actually what it is about. It's like, a mating dance. Weird fixing, yeah, yeah, like. dude. It's it's a mating dance like between any other animal. And as ridiculous as that is. This is actually true. It's true. And it's totally okay. Like that's normal. You know, it's normal to go out and take part in the mating dance and find a girl that you like and have fun with her. And then uh, take her home if that's what you guys feel like doing, you know. There's obviously no problem with that. It's that thought of, oh, you need to be someone to do that. You need to have special abilities, special methods. You need to have tricks. That's the part that really just gets be me. Confident, bro. Just you know, be confident, that's the part just that be alpha. Exactly. Well, being alpha, being confident, it all comes it's from something just you become. There's a sample you measure, like you, how 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 much you weigh? Like seventy two three okay, kilos. So you, you, you weigh seventy two kilos. You measure for like I just say, yo. Let's go to the gym. You actually have muscly dude, but imagine say it's your first day in the gym and say, "Yo, yeah. just be strong. Put 50 kilos in each, like and, be and bench press this shit with like, 100 kilos. Right. You're not gonna be able to do it. Right. You know. So it's something. It's like transformation. You need to take patience. It takes right. time. It's right. not like something overnight. No, of course, not. If, like for example, if you do a boot camp, that is very important. Of course, you can like uh, diminish your reaction time like makes things advance faster because you're seeing a different perspective right. yes but even though you still take time because like you measure the game condition for 21 years old 24 years old of like of like pure bullshit so of course for you can be a little bit tough can be a little bit hard of course it's something that you delay for you develop yourself you know something you know so this is like something that guys don't understand you need to have time and you need to have like present you need to it, something is really patient you cannot become you, sorry you cannot be something if you do not become that first yeah. it's a journey you know i did it like became like good with women like bah! wow you know no. there is no such a thing as that like, it's like something you take a lot of feelings and like a lot of a lot of your mistakes you're gonna like reevaluate about what you're doing right what yeah. you're doing wrong and you're gonna have also opportunities you know example exactly. Right now was a very good opportunity of leadership. Like the guy was coming and say, yo, 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 we're actually recording. But like that was also an opportunity that I could say, oh, I could uh, emulate the behavior that I want to achieve. It's like, okay, I have, for example, imagine I'm a shy guy that I, I'm always like super nice and complacent to what everyone, everyone's saying, saying yes to everything. That was a very good say, yo, yo, excuse me. Because like someone is not part of that. Yeah, because yeah. You're, you're assertive. That's a part of your masculine character. It's not the way that you talk to women. It's the way that you live your life, which is very simple. And it's interesting Ooh. because me and Fabrizio have uh, two very different characters, I guess you could say. Ying -yang. Like, you, you look at him as like this very masculine, fashionable guy. I'm this skinny, <laughs> from to the word. skinny hippie dude with the Hawaiian shirt if you want to like put some labels on us or whatever. <laughs> but the truth is that we do one thing the same way. We just bring very present masculine energy. We bring the best out of that we can exactly that moment. Into, into any single interaction. And it's not, it is not about a certain type of scenario. It can be a business meeting. It can be a conversation with my parents. It can be a conversation with a woman that I've just met I on the street. bring the best out of me, of myself. All, exactly. Always be mindful of how that exchange goes because it's very valuable. And you don't need to be a pickup artist for that. You don't need to be a CEO of, an, uh, of a startup for that. You don't need to be a top grossing athlete for that. All you need to be is an aware human being. In this sense, less is more. So coming back to the club example, if you go into that club thinking, oh my God, everyone is here. Everyone secretly wants to have sex, but it's a taboo. So actually you have to be careful. I have to have these techniques. Like, maybe no, you're going to beat me. And like, yeah, maybe like the, people are going to laugh at me if I make a move. People are going to come in and beat me up, aggression, whatever. But then you just take a breath and say, Actually, everyone just came here to have fun. 
In fact, I came here to have fun. There's no reason for us to not share great experience. So let me just make myself feel comfortable, get over the initial discomfort, that initial little shock of the resistance of talking to people. Once you're in there, you're actually talking and you're comfortable. That's what I've noticed. The most attractive thing for females is comfort. You go up, then you're like, hello. You feel comfortable in your own skin, right? My name is Martin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Martin. I don't need to use a pickup line. I don't. That is my openers, right? Openers, how you approach a stranger yeah, on the man, street. Like... My opener is, hi, my name is Martin. Nice to meet you. Because, no, I do not need an excuse exactly. to talk to another person. But you example, know? of course, if like I see something's going on, I can just use that. But you should yeah, you like, not be uh, attached to like w the first word. What is my situational opener? Right? Exactly. And I think like the most important thing actually uh, at all apart from pickup is about the purpose. Why you're actually doing that? You actually approach that girl because you really think you're attra she's attractive? Or are you doing that because you want to the validation of your body? Say, yo, man, look at like Martin picking up this hot chick. Right. I think like I see a lot of guys like they, they learn pickup for the wrong uh what is what would be the word the right word the wrong reason you know like they want to learn because they want to show to their friends that like how cool is he or like he want to like to show to women they're like oh they're gonna make them pay they're gonna make them suffer like some example not the men going on their way but like the super categories of the men going on their way there's like some very small percentage of guys that really believe on that they're like right. i gotta make her suffer she's a bitch yeah you know so i really believe that like you really need to find what's your purpose for example every time that i really gonna track uh, gonna approach a girl i guy i'm really gonna go on the girls i'm really attracted to and also i gonna say okay there's a girl like this she fits with my values that she fits with my morals is she like she's the kind of girl that i really want to have around that i will be feeling comfortable to show to my friends right. to introduce to my parents or whatever actually and even let though me just, let me just ask let me just ask you something is that because you're an accomplished dating coach or is it just because you're a human that values himself i think like for me it's definitely about me as a human being because i really do not see myself as like the dating coach if you're my friend you know that more than anyone i really do not like put the table oh i'm a dating coach now exactly. like i literally gonna go on the girl that I really feel attracted to and like she needs to fit for me it's like not about what people gonna think about it because in the, yeah. on the end it's about myself it's about what do i like why I gonna like start eating other things just to show to someone that makes no sense you know yeah. so and after like one thing that i see a lot is like um actually we spoke on the video the last time we did it's like about hedonic adaptation they're like it's exactly how it works you pretty much get so obsessed by something because you do not have it and once you have it you just like try it. either like you feel happy what you have or you want to like you had another thing you like keep fulfilling yeah, more, in this voice more. so example yeah, i gotta more. give a very good example i never had a fucking camera in my life i was so desperate to have a sony a6300 it's like oh god this is like the best go shit now i have the camera yeah it's cool it's, very, it's a nice feature but it's just a camera there's like yeah. nothing fucking changed you know so this is the same as like with a girl i see so many guys like getting so stuck with this like oh no because i need to i need to get this girl for my work so i gonna start feeling enough Man, you need to feel enough by yourself. You need exactly. to feel enough. Like, even if you are with a girl, if you're not with a girl, you feel cool. If you go to the club and you do not have sex, cool. If you have sex, cool. That's exactly how I feel. You know, it it's not every time. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna be honest. It's not every time like that you're gonna get laid every time. Because like, first because like sometimes you cannot control. First you cannot control the outcome. Yeah. That's the number one. Number two, there's like sometimes that like something unpredictable can happen. Right. Number three, sometimes you. It's just not the day. Sometimes you go to the club and you do not meet the kind of girl that you want. That's actually fine. And sometimes you also are not in the best, in your best state, in your best shape, as yeah. like as a person. So that's totally fine. So it's not because they go say, "Oh wow, my night was shit." Oh, because I see so many guys they create a martyr. Say, "Oh no, my night girl was suck because I couldn't kiss a girl." Uh. So you should like have the right success measures. You should have go out with the right measures. And that is the exact sign of. Um relating to your value to your results with women just like fabricio said the way he interacts with women is not based on his status it's not based on his self-image it's based on the very simple principle that we're all human beings sharing this experience and we're all on the same level status and looks you have to think about this we are ghosts driving i saw this quote on instagram kind of funny right we are ghosts driving a skeleton in a meat suit oh, yeah, on a that. piece of rock spinning in space right going out to nowhere going to nowhere so really all this money status looks that fade like the pe people are not going to look the same in 15 20 30 years those values are very shallow 
and truly don't matter that much right if you really look at the big picture so all that shit that's happening in your head when you see an attractive woman walking down on the street and you're like oh should i go and talk to her or should i not of course you should As why shouldn't you why shouldn't you why wouldn't you if she if you consider her better looking then maybe it's time for you to go back to the drawing board and ask yourself why am i assigning value to looks true why where is this because that's an insecurity that Almost yeah, all a lot of time. bitches use a lot of makeup, man. They're not even real. Like the the, the hair is not real. The, the, exactly. the, the boobs are not real. The, the makeup yeah. is not real. That can happen. So the, the point being is that you need to look at the insecurities that we all have as people, which are also okay. It's a part of anyone's life, right? Oh, yeah. To sometimes well, well, not so, feel so good. Sorry to interrupt. But one more thing is also like when a guy says, oh, should I approach her? I shouldn't. Oh, but what about these people in the bus stop? What are they going to think? You say, man, someone that you're never going to see in your rest for your life. This, that, even if you see all these people, because as I'm living in a small city, the same scenario is going to be the same people doing the same thing. never going to happen again. So why the fuck are you going to be caring about like exploding yourself? Matter, you know? But let me tell you that once you, once you break out of this you break out of this prison of living in other people's perceptions and their value systems and you ask yourself what matters to me because what matters to me with girls for example is uh, you already had enough of me saying this but it's energy it's them being kind it's them smiling and like how they care themselves how they look me there it can be the hottest girl that I approach in the street and if she doesn't have the right energy if she feels a little like tense and whatever and they, of course I will do as a man, it's my responsibility to make her feel comfortable, and I do that. And I'm blessed if you enough. Feel comfortable with yourself, she, she, gonna feel she will feel comfortable, also. exactly. And I'm lucky and blessed enough to have the experience of knowing what are these small little details that can make another person feel comfortable in a conversation. But if I see that she just doesn't really get on the same frequency that I'm on, shout out to these guys playing beautiful music for us. Uh, if she doesn't get on the same frequency that I'm on, then it's okay. I can just let it go. That doesn't mean that she was a higher value or lower value person that I am. It's just like, hey, we just have like we're out here. In life. We cross paths. You looked interesting. Are you interesting? Mm -mm. Yeah, exactly. you're, you're, you're not that interesting. Okay, no worries. You have a nice day. Make sure I don't even think they're like someone that's no interesting. I just think that like people have just different values. For example, you have a Samsung, I have a Google Pixel, and like they're both are same phones. They go right. to the same thing, but like they just sometimes they just created somehow for different publics or right. that, at least that's what they try right to but do. when I say when I say interested I, I mean that you are interested in investing your time into your exploring your further that that person right because how these intimate relationships work is that you start exploring first verbally and then you start exploring physically so and that get emotions and, and then there you get emotion invested and then you have to and they get so and then at the end you have sex and sex is the most intimate experience you can share and also the most valuable thing that a girl can give it to you the most value and actually valid. you know what if you do it well is the most valuable thing that you can give to a woman as well so you guys actually exchange the most valuable things that you can give that's a very strong bond only if only that lasts for one night that's a beautiful thing by itself if that lasts for however long that's a beautiful thing by itself the whole point is that it's the most natural thing to happen progressively if you come in contact with someone. There's a, it's a very natural progression that happens and I think it's all of our responsibility to treat it as such. To love and respect ourselves as humans that have that impactful power of giving that experience to a girl that next week, day she can wake up like, wow, this guy really treated me well at such a good time. I feel so much more confident now. I feel loved. I feel like I, I got a lot cherished. of. I feel, appreciated. I feel cherished. I feel appreciated. I'm ready to go out in the in the real world and kill it. And you, as a guy, you feel sad. Like yeah, I was made feel. I, I I felt like a man. I had so much fun. It was very memorable. I actually have one more thing to say that like I see a lot of even pickup coaches say, oh yeah, I fuck like 500, 600 women. And dude, for me, I really do not believe that like your lay count matters. But if you really want to receive a good feedback, is the best feedback you're ever gonna receive is from the girls they date so i can give a very good example the video that i record literally one year ago of the infield breakdown with the finnish girl she really sent me a message just to say oh it's been a year that we met and i still really fucking attracted to you so for the first time in my life i'm gonna like take the take the lead i'm gonna ask you on a date with me like a girl is asking me on a date with her mm -hmm. you know because now right. she's moving she's moving to Valencia and Valencia is from Barcelona less than two hours and she was like nice. exactly she was like I really want to see you so this is actually the best feedback they're ever going to receive is when you see the girls investing in you because man 
having sex is very cool. I love sex. We are very like fucking horny dogs. Yeah, that's awesome. I love having sex. I love it fucking. <laughs> you know, fuck like despite for all like the our emotional cute little woo woo woo. Yeah, yeah sex is we great. actually love sex because well, we're boys, we're young, we want to have sex as much as we can. Yeah, if we could have get paid to have sex every day, that would be awesome. Yeah, you know, if, if I could like train people how to date, exactly date and uh, sex coach. Yeah, you know? wow, that would be, that would be awesome. But for real, the best feedback they're ever gonna receive is from the girls that you have around you. You know. When you see, you start seeing them investing on you, when you start to see that like they're being not just present, but they enter in a state of mind that there is no fucking resistance. Yeah, there's you know no resistance. Saying? As actually, she's just like there. She's like whatever. Like there's no ego. She does not feel insecure. She does not feel unsafe. Everything that she can do it to have you around, she's just gonna do it. Don't for you it. feel like at one point reach a point where like I know because I remember when you were making this video with uh, this Finnish girl last year. And I'm sure that it wasn't methods or techniques or tricks that led you there. It's just, I'm Fabricio, I'm, I'm a man, this is the way that I do things. Attractive woman, I, I take initiative in any situation. I lead in any situation. I make people feel comfortable and I give value in any situation. I and feel that, empathic, empathetic by like your, the way that you're feeling, so I will try to find another way, a conventional way for you for you also feel comfortable. I think this is also very important because right. that's actually from his game. It's about you say, okay, like how this person is feeling? Okay, there is anything that I can do it that I can make this person feel more comfortable when they are around my presence. Okay, are they feeling a little bit like unsafe? What can I actually do that I can make this person feeling more comfortable? Because this for me is the real pure form of game is you make those, you bring not just the fun, because everyone like is very stuck on the word fun, fun. but I really think like you really bring the good times, the good energy, the good, everything you can provide yeah. as a human being for yeah. the person around you. Let the girl breathe, you know, that's... Give her space. Give her some space. It's really funny because yeah, comfort I think is a really big word because I don't know about you, in my dating life I reached a point where, yeah, just like you, I let go of all techniques and methods and all that bullshit and I was just simply focusing on how comfortable I feel with myself when I look another woman a stranger I just went on the street deep into her eyes and I just stand in front of her and I just smile at her is that how comfortable you? that I feel and that energy is infectious and when women feel that it's so rare it's so rare that they meet a man that doesn't need to it's say shit his own skin. It's like wow yeah. you're being just normal yeah like wow you don't need a pickup line you're not even like itching to try to say something funny because you feel like you need to you're not obnoxious just, narcissist piece yeah. of shit exactly also. you don't need to it's justify you don't need to justify your presence here. You're simply here. You obviously have an intention, but you're simply here out of. Uh, I'm, you, I know I'm out of love. Like I'm out of self love, and I'm out of. I'm there out of my love for for humans, <laughs> and and sharing experiences with humans, other people, right? And when people and women of, uh, as well include, but just people in general, they get a taste of that. Women also people. It's more. very. Oh wait, are they? Oh shit. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like this doesn't. You know, because this doesn't only apply to dating. This applies to everything in your so life. life. This applies you letting go of those value systems that were like pressed upon you and conditioned into you. When you feel that comfort and you radiate that comfort, that's something that people seek because it's so rare in today's society. People will want to be around somebody it's that just like makes you feel nice. I can definitely give, give an example. Example: I'm Brazilian and like I travel a lot. So sometimes I move around. For example, this year I lived in London. I lived in Barcelona. I'm going back to London again. I lived in New York. And a lot of people ask me, "How? How do you feel when? You, how do you adapt yourself going to these other countries about culture?" I say, "Yeah, the cultures are different. Yeah, but one thing that never actually happens is like when I arrive in a different country, I start to think that people are superior to me. Like, oh, do you, when you go to these fancy parties, you feel inferior when you're around people? No. Do you feel like different when you meet someone who's rich? No, example, I nowadays I have like, I can definitely have the freedom to say that I have at least two or three friends that are really, really rich. And like, instead of entering the, in the fact, uh, on the state of, of uh, in the state of mind, I don't say, oh, wow, these my friends are rich. And oh, I, I feel like I'm rich. Exactly. What actually, I really feel, I was like, wow, mazel tov, bro. I really feel happy that my friends are really rich. Maybe I, I instead of entering the, exactly, instead of I entering a mentality about, oh, what they're actually doing, oh my God, they're super, I say, maybe, maybe I can learn something with them. And one of them actually became a mentor that is like, Patrick, and like, I entered this mentality about, okay, what can I actually learn with these people since he's like in a state at least in one pillar of his life, he's like better than me. How can I learn with this person? Instead of entering a state of competition, yeah. say, oh, wow, he had more. Say, 
what can I actually learn with him that I can absorb to my life? Exactly, and that, that will be the same scenario when you meet an attractive woman. You're not thinking, what can I take from this girl? Oh, she holds something valuable to me. She holds sex. If I have sex with her, I can brag about it. I can nourish, I can like cherish that little memory in my mind and bring it up whenever I feel insecure and tell myself, oh no, I had sex with that hot girl. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, that will not, that will not, not be sustainable. Your life. Not it will fulfill not fulfill you. you. It will not sustain your life. But if you find a person that you're genuinely interested in and you think what do I have the power to give to this person and we all hold incredible power just in the way that we speak the way that the, the way we do things sometimes I don't even do anything just the fact that you're around that person can just also make just your person. presence holds a lot of power and applying it in the right way so just to wrap up on this the way you treat a a wealthier person, your mentor or whatever, the way you treat a girl that would be maybe considered very attractive or valuable actually, in society. He told me, he said, one of the things that I actually like about you is that you just treat me as a normal person. Exactly. That's, That's like the cue. So, because such a, a key lot thing. of guys, as I gonna give a very good experience. When I was uh, in New York City, I stayed there in Manhattan for two months during boot camps. It was very good. And dude, I met a lot of models. Like every, pretty much, I think my demographic, like 80%, was either models or actresses. All the time was meeting them. And one of the things that happened a lot that after when I started dealing with this person, I it just reframed what I already knew it about. They're like, some models are very depressed. Some of them, they have a lot of anxiety. Sometimes they have a very fucked up childhood. Sometimes they have a zero social skills, you know, because they she just don't know. Human problems, exactly. You right? just realize that, like, just a human being also we're surrounded by problems so it's not because of that that i will change it because i see a lot of guys changing they say oh i remember one of the guys that i coached in new york i remember we were in a bar it was even before the boot camp it was oh yeah you should go approach this girl and he approached the girl and like he just <laughs> stopped her and like start talking to her in the middle of the conversation example we talk about birds he just came to her and say Oh yeah, and by the way, yeah, I work as a consultant in a very successful oil rig business. Blah 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 blah. I was just looking like, how is that relevant? How is this relatable to the reality of that person? You know what I'm saying? Like, hello, little boy. How is that relatable to that person? Reality, you know what I'm saying? And then that you start to see that a lot of people they just change. Like, oh wow, this is good. I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna change my approach. I'm gonna like start behaving like this. Man, this is bullshit. Like the most way, the best way for you actually connect truly with people is you're being truthful with yourself you know what I'm saying do I have anything to say I mean I think I think that's we that's a wrap a <laughs> we actually spoke a lot because this is such a, such a big topic but just to wrap up on it is uh, it's okay to be human we're all here we all have struggles and we all have the power to give each other nice experiences and if uh, you made your way to this video and you're already embracing this culture of being more aware and what you can give uh, to other people's experiences then uh then uh, congrats to you. It's great. Just let go of all the social conditioning and bullshit that's built up layers on top of layers. Bring it back to the simple and uh, let's just enjoy this time together. Cool. Watch your Instagram so people can follow you. My Instagram is at Martin, M-E-Z-E-I. It will be down here on this screen. Right next and, to mine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you if you guys... Choose. If you guys want to follow and keep an eye on uh, on what I'm doing with um, yoga, vegan, plant-based foods, and uh, a great community that is uh, all about growth, like we just talked about, then you're more than welcome. And if you want to keep looking at the typical bullshit dating coach <laughs> content, then you can you can go over there. Yeah. So thanks for watching the video. Don't forget like to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget video a like, and also don't forget also to enter on the Man Up Winning Club. I'm posting exclusive content lots of live webinars and yeah see you guys in the next video